Chuck Woolery launches a blunt force truth bomb at Obama that can save America. Well, I doubt it at this point with uh, what Woolery is going to say, but uh, let's give it a whirl. This is by US4Trump.com. Although Hollywood star Chuck Woolery was at one point the host of the show Love Connection, he doesn't have much love for all talk, no action, lying political elitists. And he believes America will be best off with a leader who isn't afraid to tell the truth. Well, we got Trump there. That is exactly why the outspoken conservative celebrity has over time grown to respect uh, President Donald Trump, as briefly explained in his la uh, latest tweet, Woolery. Uh, has stepped in the political ring in his latter years, even hosting his own podcast, Blunt Force Truth, to help keep Americans informed on key issues and happenings that mainstream news fails to discuss on a day-to-day -day basis. Based on his tweets, Woolery is definitely not a fan of Democrat progressive policies that have over time shifted towards the direction of socialism and communism, I might add, and he gives a warning to the danger of what progressive Democrats like Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama are actually up to in the long run with his pinned tweet that reads, um, the difference between socialist and progressive, uh, they both have the same end goal, socialists, uh, B, uh, B A M. You're there, bam! You're there. Okay, progressives a little, uh, a little steps. Okay, Woolery went uh, uh, recently sharpened his attack on former President Barack Obama and explained why many Americans like himself are warming up to President Trump more and more over time and prefer to have someone like Trump as a leader. Uh, in a string of tweets, Woolery chastised Democrats for putting down and ignoring the current state of the economy because they know President Trump is the main person that gets credit for it, and he warned Americans about the dangers of falling victim to the control of what he calls socialists and Marxists. I add communists to that. Uh, he eventually tied it all to one blunt statement involving both former President Obama and current President Donald Trump. War Woolery writes, um, Our founding fathers warned us about the enemies within our country. We must defend against them. Yes, enemies, foreign and domestic. Who are these people? They are the people who say they want to transform us, turn us into socialist slash Marxist puppets that they can control. Enemy number one, major difference. Uh, Obama was eloquent with his lies. Trump is brutal with his truth. I'll take brutal truth any day. Uh, it doesn't get any more blunt than that. Yeah, with, uh, with those couple of statements, Woolery took the words right out of the mouths of many Trump supporters and moderate independents who are teetering more uh, to the right after seeing how everything has unfolded over the last 10 years. Sure, Trump might be brutally truthful a lot of times, but isn't that much better than being lied to, all for the sake of being controlled in the end game? Yes, I agree with that. Perhaps just one thing that America needs right now is more celebrities who can open their eyes more and see exactly what fellow celebrity uh, Chuck Woolery is saying. After all, spreading the word of the dangers of socialism instead of condoning it, like what many celebrities do, could ultimately save America from the evil that is slowly trickling throughout. Um, yeah, I, I agree with his statements, but uh, something has to be done. Only military. That's it. People have to be taken down, and Obama was a plan to destroy this country, and Hillary was going to finish it with a war. Uh, you know where where there would have, there would have been uh, you know the depopula uh, popula uh, depopulization of uh, the world. That's exactly what the leaders wanted, and uh, that's basically what they want. And uh, and the rich uh, are at the top, and the rest are slaves. That's why they want this one world government. Yeah, 
They would have, uh, Hillary would have, uh, th th remember they were always saying that Trump wanted to get us into uh, 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 war, and it, Hillary would have, uh, right off the bat, she would have gotten us into that. That's why the economy is doing so well, because everybody expected Hillary uh, to get in, and everybody was saying, oh my, what's going to take place, you know, we have to run for cover. Um, but Obama, yeah, he was... Uh, not a good speaker, but the way he presented himself, very, uh, you know, friendly and, you know, laid back. And, uh, yeah, but it, he, he was a plant. He, he was, uh, he's, a, he's a sorrow shell, just like Hillary Clinton. And, but their, their, uh, their agenda didn't happen the way they had anticipated. And uh, thank, thank our lucky stars that that it didn't happen where Hillary got in because I was literally holding my head uh, I thought she was gonna get in for sure um, couldn't stand the witch but uh, then Trump won and like a, a, a sigh of relief came over the country um, with Trump winning and shock at the same time and it was amazing. It was an amazing moment. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.